Welcome back to episode 2 of Kopi Talk, where we have Kopi and we talk. Just to be clear, we are not sponsored by Nescafe because everyone is asking us <laughs> about that. So, okay, we are not sponsored. Like, we just love Nescafe. We would like to be. We would like to be. Okay, that one next time. So anyway, we have Mark here. My name is Amos and today we have Winston here to join us. Uh, basically, he test wrote the Street Fighter V4S mm. and we just want to find out, uh, you know, how the bike felt. Mm. Shock or not. So, please share with us. Okay, so compared to my... I have a monster. So, compared this to monster, right? Uh, surprisingly, this is much easier to ride compared to the monsters. Only to say because this can ride at slow speed without any... The Your monster cannot ride at slow speed? Uh? It's chattering. It's just that it's not comfortable to ride at slow speed. It's like monster, you feel that the bike is not meant to ride at slow speed. It has to be fast. Yeah, Every yeah. throttle you go is hard and powerful and talky. But this, you can treat it like a gentle baby. Even if you just got your class 2, you don't have to be intimidated by this machine at all. But it's quite interesting. Uh, we were at the showroom, right? And then uh, Andy, one of, the, one of the Ducati sales guy, he kept mentioning that it's very smooth on the low refs, right? Yes, it is. I was behind you just now while getting the bike to the studio. We were doing 60. Yes. Right? And you said you were on 6th gear. Yes, correct. Right? I was behind you. And yeah. you, you don't hear you don't hear the bike going kachang 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 kachang. Nothing. It's just it's just. It's yes, correct. Quite, in, quite quite impressive, ah. It's quite impressive. So so the other Ducatis, low speed, high gear, very very chattery. Yes, it is very chattery. So compared to the older Ducatis, and to my old monster, which is the twenty sixteen monster, when you ride at sixty kilometers per hour speed. You're, you can't even go up to 5th or 4th gear. The whole bike will just jerk at slow Is that why Ducati riders all ride so fast? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably. I have to say that because really for the old, older Ducatis, right? The, char the characteristic of the L and L twin engine right, is that you need to throttle hard. And that's why you get a Ducati because you want to enjoy the power and the torque of the machine. So it's not because they're howling? Uh? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm a very, very... No offense, uh, uh. No, offense no offense. I'm a very... Uh, Humble rider. <laughs> now, now I understand. Now I understand. Yeah, but okay, with okay. this, with this, you really can accelerate slowly. So even like for those people, right? We just got your class two, right? Don't be intimidated by this machine. You can get used to this, uh, this uh, bike, right? Just throttle gently. The power band isn't that scary at the lower rev. It's like probably two or three. You can just you know throttle like the at your normal bikes. But once you want to have more fun, you go a bit harder. This, this beast just will wake up. I, I'm just going to pull back to when Amos asked why Ducati riders like, is it is it because Ducati riders haul in? And then it's apparently no, right? So this bike is supposed to be smooth, right? Yes. Then why you ride so hard just now? Huh? <laughs> oh, you know what? Because the quick shifter is very fun. It's, it's I, I've never ridden a quick shifter bike before and this is the quick first, shifter, first bike that actually played with the quick shifter. So all my bikes are pretty old. <laughs> Up shift and down shift both upshift and downshift. So, oh, it's, it's so short, so amazing. It's, it works like a Honda DCT, but I, I don't think it is that, that kind of, it's different. It's totally different. So, but the concept is that you don't have to clutch in at all. Going up gear and down gear is perfectly smooth for a quick shifter. I mean, I have not here say any quick shifter is that smooth compared to this. If I'm not wrong, mm -hmm. right? This, you know how when we, we conventionally ride, mm. you want your up gears to be up, Mm -hmm. Normally you want up gear up, down gear you down. Yes. With this bike, you can change that, right? So your up gear is down. Yes. And your down gear is up. Yes, because this machine, this engine is from a 2014 Model GP bike. So I be I believe that uh, technology was implanted into this machine. And there's a track setting. You can actually configure the, the position. Race mode, right? It's a race mode. So you can configure your gear shiftment just like the Model GP style. Oh. So riding in Singapore, mm. heavy traffic. Yes. You think possible? Yes, it is definitely very possible compared to my uh, own monster, right? This is more stable at low speed compared to the older Ducatis. You mean the... the, the yes, just purely because of that talk. reason. Yeah, it, 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 the power band in the low RPM is really smooth. 
it's not that scary compared to the old monster. So controlling this bike at low speed, definitely feasible. So I'm going to ask you a very Ducati question. Mm -hmm. um, like most of the Ducati purists out there, uh, you know, they like the, the unrefined pure grunt of the engine. Do you think the V4S still retains the characteristics? Uh, I think that it does not in the low RPMs, but in the high RPM, it does have that grunt. So when you start off, right, it doesn't vibrate like the older models, which mm. I actually like the vibrations. So when I first uh, hear this machine starts, right, somehow I feel like, is this really a Ducati? Because it doesn't have that L-twin grunge, mm. but it has that V4 sound. Which but is, it sounds like a Ducati. Eh? It sounds like a Ducati because of the V4. The V4 engine produces that kind of sound. So I think that because of the V4, right, it makes the low end very smooth. And the power bands actually stretch much higher compared to other Ducati's model. The RPM actually goes way much higher that compared to the other bikes. You were you were speaking about sound, right? So yeah. you know, I, I gotta say, the exhaust note. Yes. Crazy. Uh, if you guys want to have a listen to the exhaust note, we'll put a link uh, to the previous episode on Triple Three. Uh, have have a listen to the exhaust note. It's unbelievable. I personally love it. It sounds so good. Yes. Right. Like uh, you, you were mentioning Amos about loud pipes, right? Yeah. For those who want loud pipes, right? Then you don't want to pay the five hundred dollar fine, uh. You just save maybe for how many years? Your seventy thousand. Right? <laughs> then go and buy this bike. Settle all your problems. No need to be scared of LTA. This, uh, approved, right? Like, yes. This is stock. No LTA. No cords. <laughs> you know, loud pipes. Loud pipes save lives. Yeah. Yes. It so, sounds good. Uh. It sounds so good. the moment when uh, when uh, Andy switched uh, power on this bike, right, the first thing that really caught me by surprise was how it actually sound. It's really fantastic. So even if, uh, you know, this really catches attention when if you are going to places, right, people will notice, will hear you before even they notice you. It's pretty amazing. That's what Ducati riders like. <laughs> hey guys, we have come to the end of the video again. Uh, we want to know what you think about this bike. Mm. Let us know in the comments below whether you think $70,000 is worth spending on a motorcycle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you guys next week. Goodbye. Yeah.